Hey Southwest NCSY, this is Jacob Legel speaking from Denver, Colorado, exactly in the Rabinovich home. I'm going to deliver you the 90 second of our tour, or I'll try to keep it under that. Here we go, let's get started. This week's Parsha is Parsha Shmini, okay? And I actually turned to the last two psukim in the parsha to find my Devar Torah. So it reads in Pasuk Memvav, This is the law of the animal, the bird, every living creature that swarms in water, and every creature that creeps on the ground, for distinguishing between the impure and the pure, and between the creature that may be eaten and the creature that may not be eaten. So I'm saying creature. Um, so what exactly does that mean? Why does it use the words that may be eaten and that may not be eaten? Why doesn't it say that you should eat and that you shouldn't eat? or that is edible and that's not edible, it doesn't really make much sense. So if you actually look in Rashi, Rashi explains that it's a chok, a mitzvah that we don't really know the significance of yet, that I will find out later. So what does that chok have to come into play with what I'm going off about? If we turn to Parsha's Kedoshim and actually go to the very, very last Pusik over there in Kedoshim, we will find our answer, hopefully, okay? So the Pusik reads out, um, you shall be holy for me, for I, Hashem, am holy, and I have separated you from among the people to be mine. So what does that Pesach mean? Rashi explains that that Pesach is saying that when we do mitzvahs, we should be doing it because Hashem told us to. Not like if you see a piece of pork and say, oh, I don't want to eat it, it looks disgusting. You should say like, oh, I really want to eat that piece of pork, but I can't because Hashem told me not to. Okay, so what does that have to do with the chok? The Rambam explains that when we're doing mitzvahs, should we do it because Hashem told us to or because we want to do it? So let's say some things we, there are some things that we just want to do for ourselves, and that's the way Hashem created us, and there are some things that we really want to do, but we don't do it because Hashem told us to. So I want to wish a bracha for everybody to implement that, this idea into their own lives, that even when they want to do something, they're not going to do it because Hashem told us want to, and that they should do the right things that they think is right. Everybody have a great Shabbos.